Hey everyone! Can you agree that functional and non-functional requirements set the foundation for a successful software development project? If done wrong, product requirements distort the final result. Most importantly, this stage is difficult to redo later. Well, how do you avoid miscommunication between the product owner and the dev team to set clear benchmarks for the product? Functional and non-functional requirements are often really hard to grasp, but we'll use our own experience to explain the differences. So let's get right into it. What are functional requirements? A functional requirement is a function of a system with inputs, required for a system to function, and outputs that it produces. Functional requirements usually describe the following aspects of the system's functionality. Calculations, performed by the system, data processing and consumption, use cases for the system, all possible scenarios where a system might be involved, use technology, which languages, APIs, database solutions, and other tools are used to implement and maintain a system. What are the main types of functional requirements documents? To describe all the requirements, our team always creates a functional requirements specification document that collects all the main features of the application. A use case document describes user software interactions in a generalized, impartial way. A user stories document goes through the same situations but from the user's point of view. After making user stories documents, sometimes we discover that some use cases weren't necessary at all. Want to know best practices and examples of user stories acceptance criteria? Just jump by the link in the description box and read the article. And the final document to mention is functional decomposition. Here, complex functionality is broken down into structural parts. For us, it helps to simplify the development process early on and estimate project duration and costs more accurately. What are non-functional requirements? These are attributes that will help you define crucial user expectations and control product quality. The list of non-functional requirements is very specific to the type of the product and industry, but we can boil it down to four main ones. Usability evaluating the ability of a user to easily interact with a design product to achieve their own needs. Legal or regulatory requirements. You should know which industry's laws your product has to comply with and be familiar with fines. Reliability. Describe your product's vulnerable points and solutions. Analyze similar existing applications. Examine safety risks and evaluate typical problems. Performance. Assess how a product reacts to users' actions the speed of reaction to clicks, mouse hovering, and key presses. How to determine and measure non-functional requirements? Non-functional requirements describe not what should be implemented, but rather how. From our experience, you need to adopt the following practices. Discuss non-functional criteria with all involved parties early on. Assess each requirement with a numeric score. Re-evaluate non-functional requirements during development, testing, maintenance, and scaling. Make sure to integrate users' feedback. Do you think it's much more important to determine the non-functional requirements? Write your thoughts in the comments section. Actually, it will be easier to draw a line between functional and non-functional requirements by analyzing a real-life example. Let's take Instagram as an example and hypothesize how a development team would write their documentation. You can use the same logic for your development project. So let's take a look at what functional requirements the development team can come up with before developing this service. Functional requirements. User stories. Instagram users want to upload image and video content, write captions, and publish the updates. Similarly, they would like to react to content posted by other accounts. Use cases. When a user opens an Instagram mobile, web, or desktop app, the first page is the feed. Here, a user can interact with the content leaving likes and comments. Additional functionality. Push notifications, automated location tagging, automated expiration of Instagram stories, photo filters, search bars. Non-functional requirements. Performance. Content loading speed is the priority. Instagram is a read-based program because most users spend time viewing content rather than uploading their own media files. Usability. The application should allow users intuitive navigation between profiles and their subscriptions reliability, and scalability. The system should perform well in low latency conditions. 
Show media content with the smallest delay possible. Safety. Instagram has detailed protocols for authentication, photo upload, API integration, photo embedding, and encryption of direct messages. We can make the only conclusion. Clear functional and non-functional requirements set the foundation for a successful software project. This is why we at Jelvix always start by defining product requirements. Not just functional and non-functional, but the whole package. Jelvix is a software development company providing UI UX design, engineering, testing, and tech consulting services to top brands worldwide. Need experts help? Find our contact details in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the bell button.